Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. In this video, you will learn how to set up item groups in Logic ERP. In the main menu, go to Setup, Setup Items, then Setup Item Groups. You can create up to 30 group categories of items. GST tax group category has already been created. You can see all the five slabs of GST percentage. Items have been allocated in each GST slab. So let us look at the process of creating these groups. Each group contains five levels. Right click on the group to rename it. Enter the desired name of the group. Levels can also be renamed. Now click on refresh to create the names of different groups. Start typing the name of item group. Also give a short name to it. Select if the item is raw or finished. Define margin percent here. It will automatically calculate the MRP by adding the defined percentage to basic rate. Press spacebar to tick this column. It means that a prompt message will appear reminding you that the item belongs to this particular group while generating a sale bill. It is usually used in a pharmaceutical business in cases of prescription-based medicines. Group description can be added here. You can enter up to seven descriptions of the group. Don't forget to save it. Then you can also give an additional name to the group. Keep pressing the enter key and make as many groups as required in the same way. Click on save to save these groups. Expand the level to see the created groups. Now we will allocate items into these groups. Select the group and click on Allocate. Select the item from the search window that you want to allocate into the group. Kindly note that one item cannot belong to more than one group. Items have been allocated. You can also deallocate these items by clicking on Deallocate button. Simply select the item and click on OK. Now we will create groups on level 2. Type the name of group. And also give a short name. Create groups on this level in the same way as we created for the previous level. Then, click on Save. Groups have been created at level 2. We will now do the allocation at this level. So, we have to allocate the groups of level 1 into the groups of level 2. You can also right click on the group to allocate or deallocate. Set 
Similarly, we will create groups at level 3 also. The groups at level 2 will further be allocated into the groups at level 3. So a hierarchy has been made. Similarly, you can create groups at level 4 and 5 as well. You can rename the levels as per your choice by right-clicking on them. Let us look at some other options in this window. You can also set the order of the groups or items allocated in those groups. Just select the group and click on Refresh. Now click on Order. Make use of the arrows to change the order as per your choice. The order has been changed. Now go to other options. Move item groups option allows you to create the same categories at some other group. Let us suppose that you want the categories created at group 1 to be created at some other group. Select the categories that you want to move. Then select the group at which you want to move them to. You can see that same categories have been created at group 2 also. Similarly, you can move items from one group to another. You can also add image of the group. Simply browse the image from your system and click on save. This image will be visible at the time of billing. Let us have a look at the item grouping in a pharmaceutical business. The pharmacists usually need to maintain schedule H schedule H1 and NRX items in different groups. So you can create the groups accordingly and allocate items in them. If you choose yes in this column, a prompt message will appear at the time of billing reminding you that the item belongs to the schedule H1 category. Apart from this, item grouping can also be done on the basis of salt names. Expand the group to see the allocated items in that group. Lastly, let us also see how item grouping is done in an apparel business. Grouping in an apparel store is very subjective. You can see the groups created here for example. There are several bases of grouping apparel items such as gender, season, style, fit, occasion, etc. You can create the groups as per your requirements. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.